Hey, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we are taking a look at probably the most expensive combination of stabilizers and lube I have personally come across yet. The Novel Keys Plate Mount Stabilizer Kit and Crytox XHT BDZ from Space Cables. Now I have not yet used these stabilizers in any of my keyboards, so I'm gonna go ahead and assemble these and dish with y'all about some of the unique features of both the lube and the stabilizers and get them installed in our Drop Karina and see what kind of uh, uh, what kind of results we get. Now if you end up liking what you see here, remember to hit that thumbs up button on the way out, and if you want to catch more in-depth looks at some of the more bespoke aspects of custom keyboards, make sure you hit that subscribe button and get notified so you don't miss any of our content when it goes live here. All right, let's start doing the thing. All right, so to start off with, uh, these Novel Keys uh, plate mount stabilizers, they come in a full kit and the packaging for this stuff is just, it's really extra. Like it's, you're talking, you've got this uh, acrylic case that fits another smaller acrylic case on the inside that usually houses uh, the, the stabilizer housing and, and the stems. Uh, then you've got this foam insert here that holds the stabilizer wires. We could really do without this kind of packaging. It's great and it feels super premium, at least as, you know, plate mount stabilizers go. But frankly, uh, a blister bag of something like this, like th this is, this would be more than acceptable uh, for shipping these stabilizers. Might even shave off a, a, a couple bucks of the cost. Now this set comes with six 2U wires, a 6.25U wire, and a 7U wire. So you're basically covered here for whatever kind of keyboard you're gonna be building. Now, as far as the housing and the wires are concerned, there's nothing really uh, super exciting to write home about here. Pretty standard fare, nice polish on the wires, and the housings have no glaring issues as far as manufacturing is concerned. It is worth noting, though, that both the stabilizer housing and the stem are novel keys own proprietary molds. Though the basic shape and composition uh, for the housing is still more or less the same as far as I can tell. It's the stem here where things start to get really interesting. Not only is it a clear stem, which allows you to actually see what's going on on the inside of the, of the, uh, the stabilizer stem while you're tuning uh, your stabilizers, but you'll notice there's no legs on this thing. Yes, it is made without the need for uh, clipping legs because they just don't include them in the design. What, what a novel idea. Now it's also worth noting with these that, oh, just got lube all over myself. Now one thing I have tested with these already is stem wobble between this, a Gateron stabilizer and a Duroc stabilizer that I have in-house. They're all uh, plate mounted stabilizers and these have visually less wobble uh, in the stabilizer housing than either the Gateron or the Duroc option. It's, there is still, there is still some wobble there. It, it, there's supposed to be, there needs to be some play in there for a stabilizer to do its job, but these just feel like they fit together much better than the other solutions I have. All right, now that I'm at a point that I can start prepping one of the other stabilizer wires, let's talk about XHT BDZ for a second. This stuff, so thick. I mean, this is the thickest lube I think I've come across uh, in a very long time. And there's a reason for it. This stuff was not originally intended for use on keyboards. This was intended for use in high endurance industrial environments where there's a lot of heat that's being dealt with. There's a lot of high friction, something like a bearing or a ball joint or something like that. And it has an operating temperature of anywhere from 5C on up to, I believe, 360C or so. Yeah, definitely overkill for use on keyboards, but because it's so thick, it makes it amazing to apply to the stabilizer wire. Now, that is the only place you can set this lube and have it function as intended. If you set it anywhere else, you're gonna have a bad time. So, when you consider the $20 cost of the Novel Keys Plate Mount Stabilizer Kit, plus an additional $20, that's right, $20, for five grams of XHT BDZ, plus the cost of something like Glorious G Lube to take care of the stabilizer housings and the stems, you're looking at $50 for these stabilizers, assuming you don't already have all of this 
in your possession. And that's not even considering some of the extra uh, incidental things you'd need, like a lube brush or something like that. But at least this stuff does come with uh, a little felt-tipped applicator that you can use, and it actually does work really well. Now, one thing I've learned when it comes to applying XHT BDZ, uh, you need to be kind of particular about how much you're applying to the wire and where you're applying it. You, I find, personally, that you only really need enough on the wire to conceal the color of the wire itself. So if you can no longer effectively see the finish and color of the wire, that's usually about enough, and you only want to apply it on the areas of the wire uh, where it's going to be contacting the stabilizer. So basically just this end leg over here. Now right now I have way, way too much, but that's because I'm applying it while talking, so I'm not really paying quite as much attention. But this is the best point to address having a little too much or not quite enough, because uh, once you get everything assembled and put together, this stuff uh, while it doesn't migrate as badly as something like G-Lube in a stabilizer, uh, it, it does get a little messy and it is extremely challenging to clean up. Ideally, I would actually recommend that you do this wearing some kind of nitrile glove or something like that. Uh, but, you know, that's, that's one of those do as I say, not as I do kind of things, right, as I stand here lubing this with absolutely nothing on my hands. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. How do you think that looks? Yeah, I think that's probably good enough. All right, one side's done. All right, that's another one done and dusted. All right, so we got two of these stabilizers done up now. We've got a space bar and then we've got one of the other modifiers. Let's go ahead and plug these in and uh, see how this all came together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video here. I personally really like all of the stuff we used here today, uh, especially this XHT BDZ. This is going to become uh, a mainstay in my arsenal of custom keyboard stuff. Uh, but sound off in the comments below. What do you think about something like this plate mount stabilizer kit and this very hyper specialized lube right here? Is this something that you would wanna start using yourself or are you happy sticking with uh, something like 205 grade zero? And as always, I will catch you all next time. Take it easy.